Okay, I guess on my hair, she look all right. And with that actually sitting there like this creams, and I had to have them, sis. All fab here. I just had, we're gonna discontinue it, but I had to pick up their book of shadows, honey. The color green makes she fan, expensive breeze, good time. Wise hole, serious? <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Torrance here and I must start off by saying I do not have anything against Kim or Kylie. The fact that I have so many of their products should show you that. The problem is I didn't get frustrated dealing and working with this stuff and because I keep seeing their name and I'm working with their products in my head that's what I'm getting frustrated with but it ain't got nothing to do with them honey. It's all me. This is my stuff, my collection, my process. I'm just sharing with y'all because y'all my people. So let's get into it. First off, first off, if you check out this video right here, you will see that I have previously purchased an empty magnetic palette from Adept Cosmetics. I believe they call this one their 88 pan palette and it is gigantic, honey. It allows you to put a ton of product in here. As you can see, a bunch of eyeshadows, different sizes, different brands, different formulas. I'm even wearing something on the eyes from this palette right now. If you all want to see this tutorial, it won't be up to Saturday, but I'll try to leave that linked right here above. The thing is, this palette from Adept Cosmetics, once again, did it for my birthday. So I decided this year, we're going to do it again. Adept got nice things, but I don't want this exact same one. Find a different one that they have and find a different brand that you did not put in last year's palette. There's no point of doing the same thing over and over. I'm trying to get inspired by old products in my collection, bringing myself new ideas. When I realized I used the KKW and Mario palette for my birthday look, I'll leave that link right here, I figured, you know what? They're perfect for this. One, they're rebranding, which means a lot of the products that they have now is either not gonna come back or it's gonna be reformulated. So depotting these, no problem, Torrance. They're not gonna sell them again. So I told myself, what are we gonna use? What are we gonna do? Broke everything down. So let me first show y'all what I did not break down. From Kylie, the only palette that I did not break down was the Kylie and Jordan palette. This is a collab palette. It's something that I figured even if they rebrand and bring back everything that they've had, they won't be able to do this without permission from Jordan and most collab palettes usually do not return. So she pretty. There was no point of, you know, depotting her. So I did just rearrange the shadows. I still have them, they're pretty. We're gonna keep them to the side. For Kim, I did a few of them. Once again, starting off with those collab palettes. Things that I know I cannot get back, so I did not want to depot. The KKW and Mario palette, I rearranged them to my liking just because I do that with any palette that's magnetic. Oh, excuse me. Baby, I hate bourbon. No. Ooh. But because this palette here, Makeup by Mario was a part of it, Kim was a part of it, you're not going to be able to bring this back. I'll keep this one here. We're not going to depot it. The Artist and Muse. My favorite of packaging from KKW. So even if I would have depotted, I would have never gotten rid of this. But knowing it's a collab palette, I decided to just go ahead, rearrange it, keep it here. I don't have a video for this or that first Kylie and Jordan palette. So if you want a tutorial on any palette that I'm talking about today, just leave that in the description bar below. And just because it's old, I'll still do it. I'm not worried about what nobody else's channel is doing. But this one here, wanted to keep it because I did not want to mess up the packaging. The last collab palette I have, the KKW and Winnie Harlow palette. Stunning packaging. Another palette where you could rearrange the shades to your liking, so I've done so. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Did not want to touch it. The only two that were from KKW that were not collapsed, that did not get depotted anyway, was one, the Mrs. West uh, palette, and I know it's not a collab, 
but because it was from her wedding day, I consider this one a collab with Kanye. Honey, don't judge, but I rearranged it and kept it here because it was a special day, so I did not want to touch it. It would have fit in the palette. I could have put it in there, but I chose not to. And the last one was the camo palette. I've never used this palette. The thing is, the pans in this one is smaller than all the others, and I wanted everything to be uniform, so I did not put this one in there, even though this is easily my favorite color story out of anything either of the sisters have done. Greens are my favorite, so I made sure I rearranged this palette, but there was no way I was gonna be able to put that in there knowing that they were different shapes. With my palette last year, I didn't care. I wanted things of all different shapes, sizes. This one, I wanted something a little more uniform because they were sisters. And because they were sisters, I figured they look alike. Many people feel as if they act alike. Let's go ahead and try to do something alike with them, which is what's gonna be depotting. But with siblings, a lot of times, you don't like to be compared to each other. Hey, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Honey, I felt that one coming. Gotta keep your hands sanitizer with y'all. But because they were sisters, I did want to depot them both, put them both in a palette, but I wanted to give them their own personality, you know, their own treatment. And so I decided to put them both in two separate containers. Um, Kylie first. I depotted three because I only have three left from Kylie and they were her nine pan palettes. I never got a chance to get into any of her bigger palettes and things like that because one, the price was high and two, her fan base does not play. When Kylie first came, she could drop it at eight o'clock. It could be gone by 810 and the restock could be gone even faster than that. So I wait and I got these three. I don't have the colors in here um, anymore because, of course, I just told you I depotted them. But this first one here would have been the bronze palette. I'll make sure I leave a picture of the bronze palette right here. As you can see, the bronze is rather neutral and it was my absolute favorite and most used palette by Kylie. And I ain't gonna lie, I used to always wear that palette anytime I went on a date. I don't know why, but it just made me feel like Kylie, like I'm just the hottest new thing in the club, honey. Everybody's trying to see me. So I used to love that bronze palette. The next one here I don't have was the Blue Honey palette. She empty, but I'll leave a picture of the Blue Honey right here. I got that one simply because greens are my favorites. The problem is I hate orange eyeshadows, so I never used it. I would always look at it and say, oh, look at those greens, but I wish you had, you know, a little of this, a little of that, and the colors I wanted to match up with those greens were in the bronze palette, so I would be lazy, and instead of using both, I would just jump straight to the bronze, push the blue honey to the side. Next up, another deep potted, the burgundy palette. You can check that one out right here. I only bought that one because somebody sold it to me. I believe it was either $9 or $7. That palette to me looks like the modern renaissance and although many people consider that a warm neutral, when I go for reds, I always like to have a black with it. I don't recall ever wearing a red eyeshadow without a black with it and because that one doesn't have it, I would always skip over it, go straight to bronze and never touched it. So I had three Kylie palettes that I'm sitting back looking at like, how can I get more use out of y'all if I'm only always going for one? Put them all together that way anytime i reach for one i'm reaching for all three if i want that green from the blue honey i'll use it because he has partners if i want that red i'll use it because it has colors i can use with that bronze palette so instead of keeping them all separate the first palette i created was this ulta and z palette large palette here i believe this is the current one that ulta sells the ones that they had from last year i gave away to a cousin just because I didn't like that they had more of a paper backing on it. This one has more of a plastic, so it's easier to clean up. But after taking everything out and rearranging the colors from those three, I wanna see if I can leave all three of those side by side right here. If I can, I will. If not, because this isn't gonna be an unedited video, it'll be uncut, because I'm not gonna cut the camera off. I want you to see all of those palettes lined up side by side. You would think just looking at them, that's all over the place. It doesn't look cohesive. 
But look at this beautiful bad boy when you bring them all together. I was able to go in and I'm hoping that this thing, all right, there we go. Look at the color story on that bad boy. She is a nice, beautiful, warm, neutral palette with a pop of green. And to me, you can look at each color and see a difference between the one next to it, whether it's matte or shimmer, whether I want to go for a neutral, I can go yellow neutral, brown neutral, orange neutral, red neutral. I can go for a pop of green. I can do a black smoky eye. And so now seeing all three palettes lined up like this as one new big pro palette, I absolutely love it. And I nicknamed her the BBB, like the uh, Better Business Bureau, simply because I had the bronze, the blue honey, and the burgundy. So I'm like... Okay, Kylie, you're going to be the authority for my Kylie Palace in my collection, honey. You're going to be the BBB. I'm going to be able to come to you whenever I... You basically are all in one palette. As long as I'm not going for colorful, you right here, Kylie. You went from being two palettes I never touched and one I love to now being one big happy family that I will use. And I'm telling you, even though... At first, I thought this looked like the Morphe 35O palette, and I'm like, she close to it. This 27 shades, Morphe got 35. To me, I got more variety. That's what you can call it. But this don't look like the Morphe 35O palette. Think about all the Morphe palettes that they've come out with. Think of a smaller one, and guess which collab palette I missed that this one looks just like. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer just so you can get a better look at it. Like, Tell me which Morphe collab you think this palette look like. You know which one I think it is? This one right here. Bam. The Morphe and Kathleen lights. Don't this look like a warm neutral that has some ready tones with that pop of green in it? They don't sell that Morphe one no more. I missed out on it. They don't sell these no more from Kylie, but guess who got it? So Kylie, if you come out with any of the BBBs, we don't need them because they pay for it right here. And because I've turned it into a custom palette for my birthday, she that much more special than anything you could put out for me. So, I'm here to let it be known. Kylie, you're beautiful. You're rich. You got some nice makeup. But these here, I'm not repurchasing. I don't care about no reformulation. The old formula was good enough. I still got my container. So if I want to take them out and create smaller custom nine pan palettes, I can do that, but I don't see me doing that because keeping them here is what's gonna get use out of them. She pretty, she for my birthday, we gonna keep it going. And another one that I found, I completely forgot I had this Kylie palette because I had it for a giveaway. And my last giveaway, I gave you all one, I kept one, the Sipping Pretty palette. I kept telling myself I feel pretty for my birthday all day, honey, because I did and I almost went in with this palette. But if you all remember, originally, this palette looked like this when they brought it out, which is why I never used it. I don't like my eyes jumping all over the place trying to figure out what's going on with this color story. I need to be able to know exactly what colors are available, how I'm going to deepen up my crease as I'm blending, and then going with my shimmers. So look at this palette here. I rearranged all the colors, and look at that. I have all my matte neutrals on top. I have all my pink and purple uh, mattes on the bottom. And then I have all of my shimmers in the middle, besides my pink and purple ones. Tell me you can't look at this and easily see a gradation from lightest to darkest and figure out what you're going to do with your mattes and then just pop something on the lid and be good to go. It's like Kylie, if you would have put the palette out like this, more people might have been interested in picking it up because this is not as confusing as what you gave us. So now something that has never been used in my collection, I don't mind going in and saying, Torrance, that got pinks. If you want just a basic hot pink or neutral pink, you can do that. That got browns. That got a pop of blue. That got the black matte smoky eye that you can pull off if you want to. This can do a shimmery black eye. Kylie, I didn't know that because you had everything all confused and all over the place. But now, for my birthday, I took your old birthday palette and gave it new life. So, even though I truly don't think she's going to redo this one, if for any reason you do, you're not getting no more of my money because I got it. And one of my giveaway winners got it. So, 
If you all want to see how I rearrange my shadows and the layout of these, I promise you in the description bar as of right now, I'm going to make sure when I upload this video that I have the layout of these palettes because if you all have these, I want you to be able to go back in and do the same layout so you can see exactly how beautiful these colors are and you can see an easier color story to pull off. I'm going to do it for this one and I'm going to do it for this one, honey, because honey, I see myself using this palette by the end of the year because I didn't think it was this pretty. I'm somebody who likes cool neutrals and I didn't realize that you had so many with this palette. So I'm like, okay, Kylie, we good. We done looked at everything. We done broke it all down. The only palettes we not gonna touch is the ones we already said we not. We not gonna touch that Jordan palette because she a collab. We not touching Sip and Pretty because she got square pants. She different from everybody else. She not going to fit. We doing all uniform. We good. What could get us upset? You would think everything would have been fine and dandy. But then I decided, Torrance, go ahead and do the same thing with Kim. First off, Kim. Let's show everybody what we got with you. This here is my brand new palette from Adept Cosmetics. This was the old one, the 88 pound. This one here, she folds in half and you see she about half the size, but I think she might hold a little more or a little less, but I ain't sure. The thing is, when you open this bad boy up, first off, wait, let me show y'all which one that I took out and depotted so y'all can see. I gotta open this up just so I can get a good view. I depotted all of these palettes from Kim. Whole lot of palettes. So, first up, we got the classic palette. She gone, and if you want to see what the classic palette originally looked like, boom. Nice, basic, neutral, nothing to worry about. Next up, you got the classic two. She empty now, looked like this. A little more cool tone, my personal preference. She, not necessarily all the way cool, but neutral to cool. So I like classic two a little more than classic one. Speaking on that, I like, you know, neutral to cools a little more. I also like dual crumbs more than I like basic neutrals. So when they came out with this one here, the crystallized palette, had to have her. Had to have her. There was no way he was going to give me cool tones and dual crumbs and think I was going to be up off of her. So I added that. Then, to help finish that side of the palette off, I went in with the Smoky Volume 1, which is a smaller six pan palette, but the shadows were the same size, so I put that in there because you know, I got to have me a matte black. I got to have that matte black. You seen in both of my custom made, well, in my custom made Kylie palette and the one I redid, they got a black. You're not gonna tell me I can create my own perfect shadows and I gonna have it. And to help finish that one off, <clears throat> added this one here. The Glitz and Glam, just because I like the name Glam and I needed something to help fill up the palette. This one came with a shimmery black, so just in case on those days I didn't want to do a matte black and still wanted drama, had that too. Then I'm like, okay, Taurus, <clears throat> that's the left side. How you gonna fill up the right side? What all we gonna add over there? Cause you done took all your collab palettes, started off with colors, once again, we don't like our oranges. KKW with the Soul Fire palette. Packaging's beautiful. The colors each individually was nice, and I'll leave that right here, but what nothing I was gonna do with some oranges and some bright yellow golds, never touched the palette. So I'm like, you got to mix her with something to get her going. What was gonna be easy to mix her with? Another set of beautiful colors that I don't use. The Classic Blossom. She cute and all, but anytime I go up to those reddish, you know, berry, mulberry, burgundy colors. I need a matte black. Guess who don't got one? She don't. So we had to wait. Then, matte mauve. 
only bought hers simply because she was less than $10 before the site went down. I figured I had the next palette that I'm going to show you and she could use some complimentary colors. But this palette by itself, the whole time that it was on the website, I was just looking at it like... Okay. The last one might have been probably the prettiest one and one I was most excited to get simply because I never thought Kim would do it. And that was her birthday palette, the opalescent one. First off, just the packaging alone, how it just catches the light is so pretty. But the fact that this one had those beautiful purples, it had neutrals, it was really Kim stepping out of the box and I was here for it. I could not wait to get this palette. So when I looked at all of these palettes, I'm like, okay, Torrance, this is a bunch of things that you either find beautiful or you don't use at all and you want to give it more life. And just like with Kylie, the ones that you see that's missing something can get something from the palettes that you absolutely love and it'll bring them all together and you will be good. And I want you all to please forgive me because this palette will create a glare because there is a divider in here. And with it being clear, the light will be bright. But look at this here, honey. I have it covering the purple side first. On here, you see this top two rows is the classic palette. And I'm going to see if I can get that picture back up so you can see the way I rearranged it compared to this. And I'll make sure I leave all of the layouts for every palette I have here so you can see it. That way, if I come to the classic palette and I want something, I have it here. The second two is the classic two. The third two rows here, I mean, wait, let me repeat that. Rows one, rows one and two is classic. Rows three and four is classic two. Rows five and six is the crystallized palette. The first six on this side here for row seven and eight is the smoky palette. And then the last six on this side here for row seven and eight is Glitz and Glam. I'm going to bring this closer so you can see what this side of the palette looks like up close. And you can see how it'll give me the option to go in whether I want warm tones, whether I want cool tones. If I'm going after a basic neutral, I'll be able to pull it off on this side of the palette. And because I wanted to have my neutrals on one side, which is the side I more than likely are gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, gonna use all the time. That's the side I want to keep those on. Flip this over, and we get what I would consider my colorful side. Many people may not consider the color orange colorful, but because I'm not the biggest fan of it, it draws attention to me and it just it stands out and it holds me. It's like what are you doing, honey? Did you put on too much bronzer? Is that eyeshadow color supposed to be like that? Did you accidentally blend a red and a yellow together? Because it's not too often I do oranges. But to know on this top row here, rows one and two, we have the So Fire palette. Wait, let me see if I can try to move that because that um, ring light is going to blind you. Rows one and two is So Fire. Three and four is Classic Blossom. Five and six is matte mauve. Seven and eight is opalescent. And I want to bring this a little bit closer so you all can see this one here. Oh, come on, honey. I need you to go ahead and catch that. Y'all got to excuse me. I be trying to get this. I'm working. I'm a one-man team, honey. I be trying to get this. All right, there we go. As you can see, beautiful I have warm tones, I have cool tones, but I have what you all seem to love and give me the most attention for, those purples, honey. Look, I have deep purples, neutral purples, you know, holographic purples. It just, it blows my mind to sit back and look at this one palette that I created for my birthday and to know KKW offered me all of these shades and I ain't been using them. When I look at this palette and say, Torrance, be honest with yourself. How many of these palettes can you say you use on a regular basis? Sometimes I use Classic 1. A little bit more than that, I use Classic 2. The rest of them? So, with that being said, 
And with this being my new birthday gift to me, to go with my other palette, Kim, there is nothing in this world you could do to convince me to repurchase these palettes. I wouldn't already use them. I like them. I really do. But those collab palettes right there are the ones that get the most use, which is why they're individuals. The rest of these, they're birthday gifts, they're special, but I don't care if you all teamed up with Viziar, who makes my absolute favorite mats, and they reformulate for you. I'm not buying them again because I have them here. This is enough makeup right here to last somebody the rest of their life. As long as I'm going for neutrals or purples, it ain't nothing that I can create that I can't do right here. I don't need nothing else. When I want to travel, this is now something that I can take with me. And although I would be hurt to lose any makeup, it ain't gonna be the end of the world to lose this. I'm gonna be more upset about losing the palette than I am the actual shadows. Because I ain't gonna travel with those over there. It, you can't get me to. But to know these are basic everyday palettes, whether they be permanent or neutral, and nobody cares about them no more, I can have them and I can do what I want with them and I don't have to worry about them anymore. And if you all want to see any of the shade layout names for this palette, I'll leave this in the description bar below. But if you wanna know like, okay, Torrance, you said everything was cool. Why are you so upset about all of that? Imagine going through your collection, finding all types of stuff and realizing got a whole nother classic blossom palette. And because the company shut down, ain't no sending it back. And I don't think you could send this back anyway, but even if I would have got this from Ulta, it's probably too late to take that back. So, it shows me Torrance, you bad way faster than you can use. I don't need this. If I got the classic blossom in this palette and I barely use it, why do I need this one? So you know what? I'm gonna put this in the giveaway for you all because I got to get some of this up off of me and we're gonna start off with these empty containers here. All of these, no matter how cute I thought the container was, going in the trash because y'all taking up space in my life i don't need this that this high with these on top of it too it don't matter what shelf i put this on this is a whole lot of space i have y'all up here empty holding up space when all i need is y'all these big ones that i just created they go on a special shelf behind me up there where i put all of my birthday palettes so these i'm about to put in the trash if you all want to win the Classic Blossom Palette, I'm going to be putting this in the giveaway. I'm going to be announcing that giveaway on Saturday. What I'm going to do just to do something special for any of you all who have watched this video, but possibly, you know, some people may watch that giveaway video, but not watch this one. What I'm going to do is anyone who wins that Juvia's Place, oh, I done told it, baby, already. Guess y'all know what it is now. Okay, this Saturday, I'm going to be doing a Juvia's Place giveaway. If you watch that video and you win the giveaway, you will automatically get that prize. But if for some reason you win that video, I mean that uh, prize giveaway on that video, and I check the comments over here and notice you left any comment on this video, I'm going to automatically add the Classic Blossom to that giveaway. So, if you win the Juvia's Place one but don't comment over here, you only going to get the Juvia's Place prize. If you want the Juvia's Place and this KKW, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure I add this with it because I don't need it. If the giveaway winner did not add a comment here, then more than likely my sister going to snatch it right up out my hands because she loves free stuff just like I do. But I'm about to go ahead, take, and put all of this stuff up because I just really got frustrated when I kept thinking about Torrance. Look at all the stuff you're doing with your makeup. You're condensing everything. And I kept telling myself, they not gonna get me to buy it again. They not gonna get me to buy it again. And right before I put everything up, I didn't realize I done bought the Classic Blossom again. I'm like, you don't even deserve the word dunce on the forehead. You just might as well write dummy right there. Just who? But my camera is gonna be cutting off on me, honey. I got literally less than 60 seconds left with y'all. So I hope you all truly did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
I understand you all may not always like me just chit-chatting and, you know, being negative. But sometimes things do get negative. I still love Kim and Kylie. We're going to still purchase their makeup. But if it be any one of these palettes right here that I already got, no, ma'am. I'm not giving you no more money for that. Give me something new and I'll give you some new money. And with these palettes, I'm about to go ahead she may put those back up there because I absolutely love using makeup as decoration. Uh, these other ones, I got to go put these up on the shelf because I'm telling y'all, I would never travel with these. I would never give them away. And it just seemed like we're going to just keep on talking until my camera cut off. And it's saying I got about 10 seconds left.